Grafting is a technique that combines two separate cultivars into one plant. This technique could be a solution for regional growers who would like to increase their revenue by growing high value crops and those crops that are unique to the Southern Virginia region. Grafting allows a plant with a root that is not tolerant to our climate and susceptible to diseases to graft onto another plant's rootstock. This does not modify the plant's DNA or genetics in any way. This merely gives a plant a root system that will allow it to thrive and in turn produce a higher yield. Senior scientist Dr. Kadong Da is showing local growers how to graft English cucumbers. The tools needed are simple and the process takes about five minutes per plant. Dr. Da cuts off the top of a gourd plant and inserts a small hole in the top of the remaining gourd stalk. Then Dr. Da removes the top of an English cucumber plant using forceps. He cuts the sides of the scion to fit the hole in the gourd stalk. The cucumber plant is now ready to insert into the gourd stalk. A special clip is used to secure the plant. The plant is covered to keep its environment moist and the humidity high for five days. In this video, it is clear the moment the grafting technique takes place when the cucumber leaves perk up and begin to grow. Here we have two plants, one that has been grafted and one that has not. As you can see, these leaves are much greener and do not have the pests that the other plant has. It also has much better fruit and overall health concept. This plant has worse pests than the other one. As you can see, it has webbing and other uh, residents of spider mites and other pests that we would find in the greenhouse, whereas this plant does not. And no fertilizers were used, and therefore that leads us to believe that this plant is resistant, whereas this one is not. Our scientists have tested this technique in the greenhouse and are seeing a 200% increase in yield for the grafted English cucumbers. The cucumbers are selling for approximately a dollar to a dollar and fifty cents more per cucumber. They are known by consumers for being seedless, never bitter, and have a thin outer skin. The Institute for Advanced Learning and Research welcomes the opportunity to collaborate with growers interested in learning this technique and participating in field research with us.